Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so it's January, a new year. It's been a lot going on already and <sighs> you guys know what I've been doing <laughs> for the past couple of weeks. Um, Yeah, but I am ready to get back into makeup and playing in it and having a good time. So these are all of my items from my last shop, my stash from December. It seems like I've had this stuff for like two months now. But yeah, we're already headed towards the middle of January. So I need to hurry up and pick some new stuff and I'm so ready to do it. So anywho, these are all of the items that I've been using. I want to just run through these right quick because most of these items are items I've used before. There's a few new items in here that I might have some thoughts on, but I just kind of want to show you what I had from last month. If I have any thoughts, run through it and hurry up and shop because I don't want this video to be too, too long. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start out with my skincare items like I like to do. Um, I did pick last month this Farsali Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum. I wanted to try it. Got it out of my BoxyCharm or Boxy Pop Up, one or the other. I really, really like this stuff. I mean, you want to talk about a nice burst of hydration to your face? This stuff is so bomb. I like it a lot, you guys. And if I wasn't ready to switch everything out and try some new stuff, I would definitely keep it. I like it a lot. Next, I have here this Sunday Riley Tidal. This is their brightening enzyme water cream. I love this stuff as well. It's kind of weird to me because it is like this kind of nasty green looking. I know the light is kind of canceling that out. There you go. This nasty kind of green looking <laughs> cream, but man, this stuff is really nice as well. I really enjoyed my serum and moisturizer for this last shot mustache. I would definitely suggest trying this out if you, you know, just like kind of like that water cream feel, but it's not too, too thin. It's actually a really good moisturizer. I love it. Now for primers, I did choose these two primers. Um, I have the No Problem from Touch and Soul. Really love this stuff. I'm actually at the point where I have to kind of take the top off and bang it <laughs> to get some out. Almost used it all up and I don't know, part of me wants to keep it just to kind of finish it up. So I might actually keep this one on the side just for that reason, but I really like this stuff. It's very nice for blurring out your skin and filling in your pores. I also chose the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. This is a nice primer. It really helps your foundation to adhere to your face and stay in place all day. I like this stuff a lot. It's really nice. It's not too sticky, but it's like just sticky enough to hold your makeup in place. Next, let's talk about the foundations that I chose. <laughs> have three I don't remember choosing three foundations you guys I'm telling you I don't know why you guys let me choose so much stuff but I'm gonna choose a lot today too because I'm I'm ready to go ham okay so this is the OG Superstay 24 hour um I do use this shade 355 I believe is it on here yeah no 356 warm coconut <laughs> So yeah, I really, really love this stuff. I actually had to buy another one because the one that I was using, you know, I had had for quite a while and when I used it, I broke out. So I was pretty sure that it was this. And so I went ahead and just picked up a new one just to make sure it wasn't like, you know, just me having a strange reaction. And yeah, I used it again, didn't break out. So I'm pretty sure that one was just too old, expired. I know I'd had it for over a year or so. I bought me a new one. I still love this stuff. I also chose the Born to Glow foundation. I don't really feel like I use this a lot this go round. I used it a couple of times. I really do like this foundation though. I already know I like the nice kind of natural dewy finish. It's not anything too shiny, but it's a really nice, healthy, natural glow. So do like that. 
And then lastly, I have the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. This really shocked me. I did not expect to like it and I ended up loving it. It actually became one of my favorites this year for, you know, foundation, even though it's a tinted moisturizer. I loved it. It worked out really nice for me. Nice coverage, nicely buildable. It's nicely buildable. So you guys know, if you're familiar with me, you know I like super duper coverage. So if, if it had enough coverage for me, I think anybody can pretty much use this. So I like it a lot. I use the shade Deep Dark 21W. Okay, so let's talk about concealers. I did choose the Born This Way Concealer. I was familiar with this. I typically use this for an eyeshadow primer because when I got this shade, I knew after using it, it was way too light, but I just couldn't remember how light it was. Now I have the shade Caramel. Yeah, this is way too light for me. So I decided that this is just going to go into my eyeshadow primer drawer to be used as an eyeshadow base because it's way too light for my face, but it is a really, really good concealer. It's just the wrong color for me. So since that wasn't working out, I went ahead and grabbed my Tarte out of my drawer and started using this. Um, this one is, it looks like 53S Deep Sand. And this shade is actually perfect for me as a concealer. It gives just enough of a hint of brightness. And I really like how it looks. Nice coverage, blends out easily. I like this stuff, I really do. Now let's quickly talk about the Eye, eyeshadow base or eye primer that I chose. Um, this one is from Ulta Beauty. It's one that I actually had a small sample of and I fell in love with it. I lost my little sample, so I actually bought this from Ulta. It was 12 bucks. I was kind of irritated because after I bought it a week later, it went on sale for like eight bucks. <laughs> so if you want to check it out, it's on, you know, it might still be on sale for eight bucks. But yeah, this stuff. I really, really like. Um, yeah, I, P. Louise is my favorite, of course, but this is coming in as a close second. So I might be able to purchase this instead of the expensive P. Louise base. Now for mascara, I chose this Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara. And this is actually a pretty decent mascara. Um, I really don't have any complaints about it. Like I said before, lately I've been using more... Um, or wearing more falsies. So mascara really hasn't been that big of a deal to me, but this one is actually, it's actually quite nice. So I would say, yeah, I would definitely use this again. Very nice. It worked nicely on my lower lashes as well. So let's talk about some powders. I have a lot of powders here. I don't know why. <laughs> Well, I kind of do. What I chose for my shop mustache was this Juvia's Place. This is the loose powder in the shade Kalahari. <laughs> you guys remember me calling this Kalamari? I could not stop laughing. But yeah, the shade Kalahari. It's a nice kind of like um, banana type shade, you know. I don't like this stuff. I don't. <laughs> I'm definitely going to try it again because I always try to give products at least two or three chances before I just say, I, you know, I don't like it. And I don't want to use it again. But my first impression, I don't like it. It really left my under eyes dry and crepey. It just, it made me look even older than I already am. <laughs> so Lord knows I don't need that. So yeah, um, this will be going back. And I don't know when I'll pick this one up again. So the reason I have my DJ's Unique Boutique powder in here, of course, is because since that one didn't work, I needed a replacement. And this one is like my absolute favorite right now. This is her loose powder in the shade Honey. I know she is restocking these with new packaging and whatnot. So if you are interested, definitely check out my girl's powder. Well, check out her boutique, honey. She has everything over there. But yeah, this powder is the bomb. So whenever a powder does not treat me right, all I have to do is is go in my drawer and grab this and I know I'll be good. I do have a affiliate code in my box, down in the description box. If you want to order something and save 10%, you know, and help your girl out, that would be great. But yeah, this is her powder, works amazing. So that's why I have this in here. Um, Let's see here, I have some pressed powders. I do not remember picking all of these. Okay, this one is actually the CoverGirl Full Spectrum 
all day powder foundation. I definitely use this as a setting powder. Um, what shade is this? Deep Neutral 2. This works perfect for me. I love this stuff. It's kind of like a no fail powder for me to set my face with. So I know I like this. This Iman powder, kind of the same thing. I really like this as well. I tried this last year for the first time, um, maybe around spring, and I really like it. This is a really good shade for me. Sets my face nicely. I don't remember if this is a powder foundation, but this one is in the shade Earth Dark. I picked this Sephora um, finishing powder. This is the Micro Smooth Deep. And I don't know, I just, I really don't use this. Every time I pull it to try and use it, I never use it because once I set my face, I typically don't go in with another powder. So I don't know. I don't know why I keep pulling this because I never, <laughs> never use it. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the bronzers that I chose. I did choose my Kosas bronzer. This one is deep and Kosas bronzer is really, really nice. I mean, really, really nice. I really like this bronzer. It just looks beautiful on the skin, but it smells like fried chicken and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. If it's the oils in here or something, but yeah, it has this weird smell to me. And so, you know, but it's not, it's not off-putting or anything. It just smells weird. So very nice bronzer. I also pulled my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and this one is four deep Let's see if i can open this okay yeah so i'm sure you guys are very familiar with how this bronzer looks absolutely beautiful this is like one of the most smooth easy to blend out bronzers that i've ever used like seriously for the price honestly it should be but yeah this bronzer is very very smooth just very easy to use and it looks amazing on the skin so I like this let's take a look at the highlighters that I chose this Dior highlighter um Dior backstage which one though I know they have different ones copper gold it's really really pretty this highlighter quad is not as bold or aggressive as I thought it might be um yeah, it's kind of subtle. It really is, at least in my opinion. It's kind of subtle. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it's it's really, really pretty, but it is. It's it's gorgeous, and it's not anything that's like overpowering. It's really pretty, as you can see there. So this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this quad and yeah, I would keep it, but yeah, I'm really ready to switch everything out, but I'll definitely be picking this up again really soon. So next I have here the Give Me Glow Sunset Glow, <laughs> and this is gorgeous. It kind of looks like, um, when you look at it, it looks like a sunset, doesn't it? It's so pretty, but yeah, this highlighter is really, really pretty as well. This one is a bit more aggressive. <laughs> than that one and it has kind of like a peachy a peachy hint or a pit peachy tint in the gold so yeah it's a little more aggressive but it's beautiful as well and then this charlotte tilbury highlighter i chose what shade is this do they have a shade or is it only one shade hollywood superstar glow highlighter and this is what she looks like so this one is gorgeous as well a little bit lighter but it's still really really pretty on the skin i don't recall using this one as much as the others you know this one see you can see there is very very pretty um but yeah it's definitely brown girl friendly as you can see it is just absolutely gorgeous but it's not as deep and warm as the other ones that I chose. Very pretty though. Okay, let's take a look at these blushes. Y'all, once again, I have no idea why you guys let me pick so many blushes. Um, Like, what? That's a face palette. But now this <laughs> e.l.f. blush quad 
This one is bold, and I don't know why I just... Y'all know, if y'all have watched my Shop My Stashes, you know that I have pulled this for like my last three Shop My Stashes and still have not used it. I don't know why. I guess I'm just not in the mood for this. So instead of trying to force myself to use it, I'm going to put it back. These are all creams, as you can see here. But they're gorgeous shades. Look at those colors. Beautiful. So I'm going to put this back because I don't know why I'm not using it, but... It's not that I don't like it. I guess I'm just not in the mood for it. Now, this e.l.f. blush here, <laughs> I'm always in the mood for this. This one is Radiant Peach. I always have to look at the name, and I know the name for this blush. I love this blush. You guys know. If you have watched me for any length of time, you know I love this blush. <laughs> so, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and put her back because I've used her enough. Okay, next here I have this blush from ColourPop. It's called Love Story. This is from their collection that had the boudoir palettes and stuff in it. And I really wanted to try out this blush. You guys know I love kind of like, you know, soft peachy tones. This one is too soft. It's a little too soft. I didn't really care for it. It's a little too light. So I'm going to be passing this on <laughs> to one of my more fair uh, besties. She knows who she is. But yeah, this is too light for me. So yeah, that was a fail. This here is one of the Folklore Sunkissed uh, Monochromatic Blush Duos. This one is 06. One of my favorites from them. <sighs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. I love this color blush. I love the shimmery side too. You know, you can use a topper or highlighter. Very, very gorgeous. I really, really like this. It's pretty. This is another e.l.f. blush and highlighter duo. This one is pomegranate, I believe, pomegranate. And once again, I didn't use it. And I have had this in my shop, my stash for I don't know how long. I don't know why I'm not using it. So I'm just going to put it back. I know you guys are like, I know why you're not using it, KK, because you had too much stuff in there. <laughs> and you're probably right. So it's going back. <laughs> so this is my Milani blush, one of them. And this is one of the um, Cheek Kiss cream blushes that they came out with. It's called Nude Kiss. One of my favorite shades in their cream blushes. Very natural beautiful just hint of color on the cheeks i really really love this shade so you know if you want to try out a cream blush and you want something that's not too bold too bright try this shade out it's very very pretty now i did get this pure dark deep face palette in my boxy charm and fell in love with it <laughs> so i ended up throwing this in my shop mustache even though i didn't originally choose it um, I just kept it in there. This is what she looks like. And she has the bronzer, a very beautiful warmy, warm tone blush. Well, I think what it is is supposed to be like a contour bronzer, highlighter, and, you know, lightener, brightener. But using this as a blush for me, it looks really, really pretty. I really like that on my cheeks. This is an excellent contour shade. Highlighter is gorgeous. So I really love this face palette. I really do. So it's very nice. And lastly, I have the two setting sprays that I chose. I have the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. And then I have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Um, I love both of these. This Tarte one is really, really nice. I like how it feels. Um, you know, it kind of gives the Morphe a run for its money. I still like the Morphe better. So I had a good time using both of these. They're really, both really nice. Okay, you guys, so my Shop My Stash basket is empty. Let's go get some new stuff. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and choose a moisturizer out of one of my moisturizer drawers. I actually think this go round, it's kind of out of this tart. Um, what is this? The Baba Bomb Moisturizer. I kind of want to try this out, but then there's another one that I kind of want to try out as well. This one is from Kors. Hmm. This is pomegranate moisturizer. Which one, you guys? Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and try the tart out today. So we'll try this one out another time. 
Now coming over here for primer, I do want to choose two primers because I don't know. I just like choosing two primers. <laughs> and I know that I want to use this Becca primer. This one is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. So I do want to try this one out. And then I also want to try out this one here from Touch and Soul. I've been wanting to um, test this one out. This one is pretty filter it's called icy sherbet primer so yeah i want to try this one out as well now for serum i am going to choose one that i haven't used for quite a while this one is from its skin it's called the vc effector 10 and i was in love with this stuff like a year or so ago and just you know trying other things haven't used it in a while so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this serum this one actually has vitamin C in it so I'm excited about that and I also want to pull a facial oil I did grab a new um, facial oil from elf this one here is the nourishing facial oil so yeah I went ahead and grabbed that so I can try it out see if I like it so I'll play with this this week Okay, and so for setting spray this week, I keep saying this week, like, <laughs> like, am I going to uh, shop my stash every week? I don't think so, but at least two weeks this will be for. Mm, this milk, do I want to try this milk? I think I did try this milk um, not too long ago. I mean, it's nice enough, but I'm not sure. I have this Juice Beauty, <laughs> Juice Beauty uh, Hydrating Mist. Hmm, maybe I can try that. Oh, look, I have this Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. This one is from Rare Beauty, and let me open this up. Okay, so it has a nice, clean look to it. Yeah, it almost looks like water, so very, very cool. So this is a 4-in-1 mist so i'll see what this is all about from rare beauty okay and then i will pull one more because i do like to um have two setting sprays cover effects have i tried this this is dewy finish setting spray should we try this you guys yeah let's try this dewy finish now, before I move on to my face um, items, I did grab these new lashes from Lollipop Cosmetics. It's a little indie brand that I saw on Instagram, and I actually picked up one of their palettes, and I also picked up some of their lashes. I thought they were super cute. I like this little box and everything. Really, really cute. It has a little applicator, so I'm going to pull these out to use as well very cute and I also want to use my blending sponge kit <laughs> Lord knows I didn't need any new sponges but I'm gonna try and use these as well during this shop mustache okay you guys know the drill let's find a highlighter Ooh, I have a few highlighters that I want to play with this week this one this is a strong maybe very strong maybe this is from Revolution it is the, what, Highlighter Reloaded Time to Shine, okay? That looks absolutely gorgeous. Mm. This one from Too Faced, Diamond Light. But this is one of several different ones that they have. This one is called Chocolate Diamond. Let me open her up. Okay, so that's what she looks like. Ooh, she pretty. Yeah, it's a strong maybe too. Now in this drawer, I do have a couple of new ones that I picked up from Beauty Bay. This one is called Trophy, I believe. Yeah, and it's a really, really pretty gold highlighter, but I was thinking it was supposed to be a dupe for Trophy Wife. I'm glad it's not. It's not definitely not as yellow. So let me open her up. So this is what she looks like. She's really, really pretty. So that's a maybe. I also got this one from Beauty Bay. This is from Sosu. It's called Dripping Gold Endless Summer. Yeah, face and body though. Let me open her up. And do you see that? 
Ooh, that's pretty. I think I might be pulling this. Yeah. Okay. So let me see. Um, I mean, they're all kind of like the same. You know what? I'm going to pull those to the side, but I think what I'm going to do is finish picking my other items because I might end up picking like a blush palette that has a lighter highlighting in it as well. So I'm going to hold off, but these are top contenders. Okay, bronzer. Definitely picking the Gucci Lucci. <laughs> this is brand new to my collection. She is just oh, too beautiful. Let me open her. Do y'all see that? Yes, <laughs> she is gorgeous. I'm pulling her. Let's see what else is going on down here. Um, I think I already tried that's a revolution. I don't want a stick. Oh, right here. What is this? This one is from Jouer, I believe. Yeah, let me open her up. This is the Jouer Deep, but this is actually a face powder. And because of the shade, I wanted to use it as a bronzer. So let's check her out. Okay, so yeah, this is what she looks like. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Sorry about the glare, you guys. But absolutely gorgeous face powder. Oh, it's so pretty. But because of the shade, I'm thinking that I can use this as a bronzer. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and check it out as a bronzer and see what happens. Okay, so let me take a quick look at some palettes or, you know, quads. So... Oh, okay. So this is what I was talking about. This one here is from Revolution. It's the Sculpt and Glow Contour and Highlight. So you see how this one has a lighter highlight in there with the contour. So if I choose this one, then it will give me a different option of highlighter to use um, along with a couple of these warm ones. So I'm going to choose this for my contour and my highlight and hopefully <laughs> that will work out nicely. So for this go around, I'm just going to choose the Sosu and the Revolution. And I'm going to go ahead and put the Too Faced one back. Now for blush, I'm only going to look in this drawer here because these are my newer blushes that I <laughs> got during Black Friday or in my boxy charm stuff like that so i definitely want to try out one of these winky lux um rose blushes because i haven't tried them out yet so i think i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one this one is called brilliant very very pretty kind of like the corally orangey type one now i also want kind of like a deeper blush so i'm gonna use one of these um new ones that i picked up from beauty bay this one is called royal let me open her up so this is what Royal looks like. Very, very pretty, kind of deep wine, rosy. You know, it's, it's really pretty, but it's nice and deep. I also <laughs> got this pure um, little compact here. It's called Out of the Blue Light Up Vanity Blush Palette. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Let me show you. Do you see that? Look how pretty that is. That is so gorgeous. So it has like the blush and the highlight in there, or it could be just a really gorgeous shimmery type blush. So yeah, she's pretty. Mm. Yeah, that's a maybe. <laughs> and then I have this here from Revolution. Y'all, I swatched this. Oh my goodness. She is so beautiful. But I think I'm going to save her for next time because, yeah, I got enough highlight and blush right now. This is the Blush and Glow Cranberry Glow. Oh, she's gorgeous, y'all. Okay, so now I'm down here with my powders. My powders are usually like <laughs> the hardest for me because, you know, I like what I like and I don't typically buy a lot of new powder. I just have what I have, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it up because typically I use a loose powder under my eyes and a pressed powder on my face. So I think I'm going to flip it. I'm going to 
put that thing back, flip it and reverse it. <laughs> so I'm going to use a pressed powder under my eyes and a loose powder all over my face. How about that? Oh, I still have to pick foundation. Oh my goodness, I haven't picked foundation. Um, So I'm gonna pick this black opal, true color ultra matte foundation powder. But as you can see, it's quite light. Um, so I'm going to use this for setting under my eyes. This one is the shade 500 dark. <laughs> yeah, dark, right? So I'm going to use this to set under my eyes. And so I need a loose powder for my face. And I think I'm going to go with this milk because I haven't tried this yet. I got this in my boxy i'm sure i get a lot of stuff out of my boxy charm or boxy pop-up you guys that's why i won't let it go because they have like some really good deals on things to try you can try things at a major discount you know so this one what shade is this translucent deep yeah so i'm gonna pull this try and use it all over my face and see what happens I kind of want to pull a setting powder just in case that doesn't work out for me. <laughs> now, I did grab this. Is this from Revolution? Yeah, this is from Revolution Pro. This is a CC Perfecting Pressed Powder. And let me see what color this is. So this is a shade deep, of course. And this is what it looks like. So I'm not really sure about this shade for me it looks like it's gonna work out but i'm not exactly sure so i'm gonna pull this and try it out just in case you know i need a little help from a pressed powder and also to see if it'll work so we'll pull this okay you guys i'm over here at my foundation wheel and this is actually gonna be easy i just like spinning it <laughs> I just like spinning it for no reason i am going to pull my fenty beauty um foundation powder i just tried this out in a video and <laughs> this stuff is nice so i want to use this some more so i can give you guys see if i can open it without tearing it up so i can give you guys you know more in-depth thoughts on it from using it repeatedly so yeah i'm gonna pull this i have the shade 400 so i'm gonna be using that and i think i'm gonna go ahead and try this kat von d foundation that i got during one of my hauls this one is the true portrait let's see what shade is this tan 076 <laughs> okay so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull this and see what happens I don't plan on pulling any lipsticks this go around because like I said before, I do need to do a declutter and I haven't done it yet. And I just choosing lipsticks is a little bit exhausting for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to continue to work from my little lipstick stashes that I have around my room because I don't know, I just don't want to choose any, but I will be playing around with some of these Juvia's reds and berries for sure so definitely expect to see some red and berry lips <laughs> in my eye looks but let's go ahead and um pick a concealer this is going to be easy too because i actually picked up some new concealers from ColourPop. so these are man it's really canceling out here we go these are some of the pretty fresh concealers and i got two different shades what shades did i get dark 175n and i also picked up this one which is dark 180n it looks like yeah so i'm gonna pull both of these just to kind of see you know how both of them fare and if i like which shade i like better so i'm gonna try these out okay now for mascara i kind of have an idea of what i want to try for mascara already as well i was checking out this milk um milk makeup mascara so i think i'm gonna pull this it'll be cool because i pulled the face powder to use as well so we'll just use two milk makeup products during this go round and see how we like them let me open this one up Okay, so this is what she looks like. I don't know if you can see that wand clearly. Kind of fat. She thick. She thickety thick. <laughs> so, but she looks nice and wet, you know? So, we're going to try her out. 
and I went ahead and opened up those two concealers so you can get an idea of what they look like so 175 and 180 very very close in shade just a slight slight difference but both of these look like they'll work nicely for me only thing I'm concerned about is the coverage because y'all know my dark circles be kicking okay so yeah that's what those look like okay and lastly I do want to try out a new eyeshadow primer that I picked up from Revolution. I've been trying out a lot of Revolution stuff from Beauty Bay, okay? <laughs> they sales was kicking. So I picked up this pot. Um, what is this called? Ultimate Base Prime. So yeah, this is just an eyeshadow primer base from Revolution. Let me open her up. Okay, so that's what she looks like. Very light. She appears to be fairly creamy but yeah very light so we'll see how it holds up okay you guys so let's go ahead and run through some palettes here that i want to play with this month plan on playing with this month but there's no guarantee you guys know me i changed my mind a lot so <laughs> let's just run through some palettes that i plan on playing with now this is brand new from nomad cosmetics this is called the iceland fire and ice palette okay look at this packaging hello hello so cute so pretty so gorgeous <laughs> so i love the whole fire and ice theme it is so cool to me but this is what this palette looks like on the inside so yeah i have a new palette for my collection y'all if y'all was keeping count then you need to add one <laughs> So, yeah, plan on playing with this. It's gorgeous. If you want to see swatches of this, um, I definitely have those on Instagram. I might even have a look up by the time I get this video up. So I might have a look for this up on Instagram as well. I did pull this new Juvia's Place Disco Party. Um, this is their latest collab with Fumi Desiluvo. And I love her. And I love her collabs with... Juvia's so this one is really pretty kind of reminiscent of the disco era but these blues are gorgeous I also pulled the wine and only palette from Colourpop um yeah I kind of want to do a wine colored look and I thought this palette was really pretty so yeah I pulled this one I just got this palette in my boxy charm. This is the Violet Voss I Love You Forever palette. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this, didn't know anything about it, but it's like an olive toned or olive, you know, colored type palette. And so I figured, yeah, this would be cool to play around with before winter ends. I also have this Rude cosmetics roaring 20s reckless palette very new to my collection and i think this color story is amazing <laughs> so yeah i want to play with this i pulled the melt cosmetics she's in parties palette because i haven't used this yet i'm thinking about maybe doing some type of comparison between this and the color pop wine only palette because the colors look very very similar this one here is the nomad by juvia's wanted to pull an oldie but goodie these colors are just they just have to be used they have to be played with and i'm really in the mood to do kind of like an eye look with these shades i'm noticing from the palettes that i pulled that i must kind of be like in a fall type mood right now because a lot of these have like a fall type feel to them. This one is my new Moira Soul of Fire palette. So pretty. And this is the color story in here. Look at those shimmers. Next, I pulled this Berry Royal Pressed Pigment palette from Clarity Cosmetics. I want to play with this one. Color story is very, very pretty. Reminiscent of the Give Me Glow Vivid Rose, but... I want to play with this and see what happens. I also pulled my Made by Mitchell Feet on the Ground palette. This one, you know, has kind of like that green feel to it. These are the shades in here. Y'all, this is too many palettes. Y'all know I'm not going to use all these palettes. <laughs> these might be my palettes for the next two months, okay? 
This is the Revolution um, Forever Flawless Enchanted. This I definitely want to play with because uh, look at that. That is just like smoky, grungy goodness in a palette, okay? So yeah, pull that. I think me going through all of my palettes and, you know, doing my palette collection series kind of like, you know, brought some palettes back to my memory that I really, really love. And so I just kind of pulled some out to play with a little bit. This one is the Colored Rain Cheers to the Beauty. And oh my gosh, I was just sitting swatching this and I was like, yeah, I want to play with that. I actually didn't realize how beautiful this highlighter is. I always felt like, oh, it's just too light. But when I swatched it and put it on my hand, I was like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's like it turns gold when you swatch it. It's beautiful. I also pulled this Playing and Makeup by Yolando Jam Rock Universal. But the color story for this one, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> So yeah, I pulled this one too. I know I'm doing the most. And then I do like to kind of, you know, play around with some of my singles whenever I can, just to make sure I'm using them. Now this is not uh, necessarily singles. This is a cute little palette that I got from Copacetic Cosmetics. I placed an order during like the Black Friday sales and I just finally got my order in and I ordered about like four of their little quad palettes. This one is really cute. Look at that little, I guess that's a butterfly on there. It's called the Luna and so this is what these shades look like in here. They look so pretty, so shimmery. So yeah, I want to play around with these. I might, you know, swatch these for Instagram or something. So yeah, but they're really, really pretty. I also pulled these single like shadows and highlighters that I got from Ooh. Bitter Lace Beauty. <laughs> forgot the name but yeah I got these from Bitter Lace Beauty I did a video unboxing and swatching these so now I want to play with them they are really really pretty I also pulled some singles that I have here in this little holder I have some from Dandelions Co over here all of these are Dandelions Co these six up here are from Shroud Cosmetics gorgeous and these eight down here are from Terra Moon. So it's just a nice combination of beautiful, shimmery gorgeousness to play with. And lastly, I did pull my palette that holds my Kaleidos shadows. So these are all my Kaleidos palettes that I have in one place. And I think I have five. Yeah, I have five of their palettes. So... These are just all five palettes in one place. <laughs> so yeah, those are the singles that I pulled to play with. Okay, you guys, so this is all my Shop My Stash stuff. Normally at this point in the video, I would take all of my stuff and put it away in my Shop My Stash area, <laughs> but I'm kind of about to rearrange some stuff. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that right now. But you guys can see all of my stuff right here. I'm super excited about this shop my stash, you guys. I feel like I got some good stuff to play with. Really, really excited, okay? So I got me some sponges, got me some new cute little lashes, and these are all my palettes <laughs> that I'm going to be playing with. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me to shop for the month of January, probably into the month of February because this is a lot of stuff. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this stuff, you guys. So thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!